Jordan, there's congratulations in order. You've been named in the Skybet 2 official team of the year. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, very happy personally. Um, obviously, it's a personal award. But I know it's cliche, but I actually couldn't have done it without the lads this year. I think we've done really well um, as a unit and as a team. And um, I think it shows how well we've done this year. And personally, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud to receive that award. Yeah, fine year all round for all, but it's nice to cap off with a little bit of an individual award as well, I can imagine. Yeah, it is, you know, because... It's a team game, but you are looking to do well yourself and, and individually and to get some recognition from the EFL board and the people that have picked it, it's, it's really nice. Um, it's a proud moment, to be honest. Um, it's my first season in League Two last season. I've come through the non-league system and to, to get that award, it's, it is a real proud moment. You've had a few Team of the Week appearances this year, but did you expect to be named in the Team of the Year by the end of the year? Uh, no, I don't really look individually like that about getting awards or making Team of the Week. Um, I just concentrate on, on each game as it comes. Um, concentrate on playing well myself and helping the team out as much as I can and then if I get the rewards at the end of the season then, then I'm happy with that but first and foremost I look I look to do well with the team because I wouldn't have won this award with, without the team doing well this season so um, so yeah I've got to thank the players and the staff as well. Yeah it's been a fine year for all involved with the club and obviously some personal accolade for you to come at the end of it but you've had a goal against Leeds you know you've had those team of appearances what would you say your best moment of the season is so far? Um, best moment of the season probably will be scoring against Leeds um, Watching Leeds growing up as a kid, uh, absolutely huge team. They always used to fight for the titles, and I used to watch the games with my old man. And then going and playing against them on, on BBC and scoring—that was a real proud moment. Um, I know it's—I know it's easy to say, but like just the the, the performances by the lads as well. Uh, going to like Bolton away and winning one nil. Uh, going to Forest Green away and winning two one. Going to Bradford and winning two nil. Um, they're all performances that stick out in my mind as well because I think. Down to, down to a man, everyone was brilliant and um, they're just as enjoyable as scoring goals. For me, keeping clean sheets is just as enjoyable and we've had, we've had plenty of them this season as well. So, so yeah, it's, in, it's been a good season throughout. Yeah, you also you mentioned scoring against Leeds there, but it's not just that, you kept a clean sheet against the Premier League side and we've gone, to, as you mentioned, gone to places like Bolton, gone to places like Bradford, you know, got the score sheet there, kept a clean sheet. Some really impressive performances from you and also the other defenders and the whole team this year. Yeah, I think when it comes to defensively, I think the whole team matters. I mean, you can have individuals that score goals and they can create a moment of brilliance, but when you're, the, when you're a defender, you need the whole unit to be in there with you. That's why this award I've received has, has been down to the lads helping me out as well, because I won't be able to keep clean sheets on my own. You know, you've got Glenn behind me, pulling off brilliant saves. You've got all the defenders and the midfielders, and even going up to Nadas and, and Nico up front, uh, working hard for the team and stopping it there. So, uh, so yeah, it has been a, a good season all round, and yeah, one I'm proud of. You know, so you had a fine season last year. You picked up a pretty clean sweep of awards at the at the Crawley Official Awards, should we say? But there's still plenty of them to come this year. You might be named in a few more. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Um, I think a lot of players have had brilliant season this season. I think. I think it'll be a close one. Um, last season was was probably the best season I've had in football, and I wanted to try and replicate it this season. And winning this award kind of shows it personally. Um, but I think the awards this season for the Crawley Town Lads, I think that'll be, that'll be a difficult one to pick because we've had some brilliant, brilliant performances all round. Um, it's always nice to get an award, and I think some some other players deserve some as well. Yeah, so you mentioned at the start of the interview there, it's only your second season in the Football League. It's crazy to see how much you've sort of adapted to league life. How, how difficult has it been sort of coming up through the non-league into the league? Um, very difficult coming from non-league. Um, I was playing for Sutton Carfield Town about five years ago, um, playing part-time football and working. I've worked my way up slowly. I didn't know whether I believed in myself when I first come to League Two because um, I'd never played it before. But under the old manager, he gave me the chance and never looked back really. I was a bit... Um, bit nervous about playing but with the group that we've had here the past two years it's really helped me and this year you know I've had the experience of, of all the defenders around me as well which is which has really helped and I'm becoming a bit older now and a bit more experienced myself so it has been tough coming from from the National League and the non-league system but one that I thoroughly enjoyed and I've luckily and well some may say it's been deserved but I've, I've won an award at the end of it. Yeah, I suppose the first year in your football league must have helped. You say it's probably the finest like, season that you played in football. That must have sort of helped you sort of settle in. You picked up a few awards at the end of the year and then that's helped you sort of grow into this year and then pick up an award at the end of this year as well. Yeah, it's difficult because I could have finished last season and been happy with how I've done and maybe took my foot off the gas this year. But the gaffer and the people around me and the players, like they reiterate to you that it's really important to kick on. You can't sit back and take things easy. So I've made a... A personal decision there to try and like try my best every day and try and keep improving in games and I've been recognised by that thankfully um, 
but yeah, it's it's a tough thing to do to try and replicate playing well all the time. There's a lot of games and stuff like that, and to get recognition both seasons, it's it's something I've, I've said it before, but I am really really proud of. Yeah. So you mentioned the team a lot in this interview. How are the how are the lads sort of heading into the last couple of games of the season? Looking forward to it. Um, a bit disappointed with how it's finished. I mean, I don't think we. The reason we didn't make the playoffs was because of the end of the season. I think it's games where we've, we've chucked away in the season. But hindsight is a wonderful thing and you are where you deserve to be at the end of the season. So if we go and pick up six points now, we'll have a top half finish. And I think we've, we've deserved to be in the top half team. We've gone to a lot of places this season and a lot of teams have come to us and we've beat them. Cheltenham were needed to win when they come to us and we beat them and they were top of the league at the time. So I think the lads are just looking forward to these two, two games to try and get six points and take the momentum into next season. Yeah, we've had some you know, fine performances this season, as, you, as we've already mentioned, going to places like Bolton and Bradford Way, you know, massive clubs, massive stadiums, beating Leeds in the FA Cup, we had a fantastic FA Cup run, we gave Bournemouth a really good game, it just puts us in great stead for next year where we can use this and sort of just use that, sort of push us maybe further up the table. Yeah, um, definitely, I mean we need to take uh, experiences like that and take them into next season. There are games that we've chucked away this year and we, we, know, that, we know that as players. Um, and if we can still do as well as the teams that, that are up there versus the ones below, then I think that we'll be right for a shout. I mean, the momentum's really key because we we ended really well last season. I know it got cut short, but we, we were doing really well to end, this, end the end of last season. We've took it into this season, so it's important now that we do well at the end of this season and take it into next season. Yeah, we've seen so many times this year the lads bounce back. The morale in camp seems to be like pretty incredible this year. It always seems to be like positive. Yeah, I think that comes from from the top down, from the from the gaffer and down to the to the captain and down through. I think the team spirit this year has been brilliant. There's been games where we've been not very good and not playing well as a team, but I think our team spirit's got got us through the game. Uh, we've got a brilliant change of room here. We've, got, we've had good fun. It's been our kind of release this year because you know with the late year we've had in lockdown, when we've been able to come in and train, it's kind of been our release, and I think that's helped as well in a way of like how how close we are as a group. And like you said, it's it's helped in the, in the big games. And, um, yeah, hopefully the, the fans have enjoyed enjoyed them games as well. You mentioned the fans there. It'll be, you know, we're hoping to see full stadiums back next year. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I think the players need it, to be honest. Um, and I think the fans need it. Um, football is nothing without fans. We've seen that with, with what's been going on in the media recently. And I think every player in, who plays football is desperate, desperate for fans to be back. I watched the uh, the cup final the other week and there was uh, only 8,000 at Wembley, but the difference that made was huge. And um, just watching football, playing football, Everything is just so much better with fans. I'm sure all Crawley fans will join me in saying this, Jordan, but congratulations, very well deserved. Thank you.